welcome back to Simply Fatima. I'm so excited that you're here for another video. In today's video, I am gonna be talking about the five handbags that I wear in rotation the most. If that is something that interests you, just stay tuned. Um, if you're an oldie but a goodie, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome to Simply Fatima where we talk about all things luxury and luxury handbags. While you're at it, just go ahead and hit that subscription button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and also turn on your post notifications so that you will never miss an upload from me. You might wanna go ahead and subscribe because I am doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, the giveaway winner will get to win this Marc Jacobs tote bag. I know I've talked about this handbag in previous videos, so I'll link the um, video that I talk about this handbag in the cards above. Um, I love and rave about this handbag, and because I love and rave about it, I know I I think that you all will love and rave about this handbag as well. So I wanted to give this away. To one of you all to give back and say thank you for all the love and support that you all share it just feels like yesterday i just announced my 500 subscriber giveaway winner and now i get to go ahead and announce my 1000 subscriber giveaway winner it is easy to enter into this giveaway all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed to my youtube channel also make sure you are following me on instagram i do have i will post um a post on my Instagram about this giveaway just make sure that you comment under that post um, what you are thankful for because this giveaway will be running through Thanksgiving and tag your best friend in it as well um, and the giveaway ends December 4th so make sure that you follow all of those entry details um, before December 4th um, because that's the day that the giveaway closes and hopefully by that following week i will have announced a winner so good luck to everybody all of the entry details will be in the description box down below so just make sure to read all of that um and without further ado let's get right into this video okay so today i'm talking about five luxury handbags that i wear in rotation um it's something about these handbags that keep pulling me back um, and that I love using them the most, especially since now that I am going back into the office more. I just tend to gravitate toward these bags um, more just because they hold a little bit more than usual um, than my usual mini bags that I would usually carry last year. Um, and it's just something about these bags that I just find very functional um, that go with my outfits and they're just easy to carry. Um, they're carefree and I just love them so much so let's um they're I'm not um going through these handbags in any particular order I'm just gonna grab the handbag um as I see it and then we will discuss it okay so the first handbag that we are going to be talking about is the handbag that I am currently carrying which is my Fendi Mama Baguette bag this is the handbag that I got myself for my birthday I wanted something um, you know medium small to medium size to carry a little bit more than just my daily essentials just because like I had said previously I am going back into the office more often so I just want something to carry I mean a handbag that can carry a little bit more than what my mini handbags could carry yeah so I got this handbag for my birthday. I have a video um, talking about this handbag, um, but I love this handbag, especially how much it can hold. It holds a ton of things. I have a video that I am gonna post um, showing you everything that what fits inside, but I can give you a glimpse of what I do have in my handbag. It's a little junky right now, but you see I have a juice bottle, my mini pochette, you see my Nintendo Switch in there. Um, it does have a back pocket in the back and that's where I keep my feminine products. You see the material on the outside also goes into the inside and then it has this nice chocolate brown lined inside which is really nice. The bag is uh, does come in silver hardware with the chocolate leather trimming. The original strap is also the chocolate leather trimming and it is adjustable. I did add my my own chunky fabric Fendi strap um, that is in comparison it's like the Louis Vuitton bandolier strap um, and I thought this would be a nice 
touch to the bag um, and just elevate it a little bit more. But yes, this is the, my current handbag that I'm currently carrying and one of the handbags that I really do love. Ever since I've got it for my birthday, I've been having a hard time putting it down. Um, just because of the functionality of the handbag and the carefreeness of the handbag as well and i just love the fall colors it just goes with the season and it's a really great bag even though that the strap does come with gold hardware it to me it doesn't clash with the silver um so i don't really notice it that much honestly and i just tuck the original strap behind and then just throw this um, Fendi fabric strap over my shoulders and I am out of the door so I really love this bag and I do carry this bag as a messenger bag crossbody I don't really carry it too much as a shoulder bag but I can do so but I love this bag so much the next handbag that I gravitate to a lot um, is the mini Antagona bag by Givenchy I love this bag I had seen um, a few luxury handbag YouTubers talk about how they feel like this bag is has completely gone out of trend but to me I still find it trendy because it's something so classic about this bag the silhouette is just so simple it has like the Givenchy um, name on the front I love the um, handles I love the chunky zipper I love the silver hardware the strap is adjustable and detachable now I do I do not like how the zipper like it it's not easy it's easy getting in and out but the zipper is uncomfortable when it rubs up against your skin so that's one thing that I don't like about the handbag but other than that I love everything about this bag like I love how carefree it is I got it in the grain leather um, versus a smooth leather because if I do bump up against anything you won't really see those scratches or marks because the leather is already grained um, versus the smooth leather but I really do love this bag I feel like again it's still trendy it has um, little feet at the bottom of it um, the inside has a zipper pocket it also has like pockets in the front on the inside it's just like a main mainly a black hole this is considered mini to me I feel like it's small it holds a lot um, in my opinion it holds all of my essentials and then some but I still really love this handbag and especially for like my office looks this is such a classic piece that I always rotate towards I love it like you can dress it up you can dress it down like this is one handbag that I will never get out of my collection because it is so timeless it's so classic it's so sleek I love it I love this style of the Antigona better than a lot of the newer styled Antigonas that they have out on the market it's just something about this classic look that I just adore so this is bag number two handbag number three is another mini bag I love the Palm Springs mini even though it's considered mini it does hold a lot and it packs a punch um, when you open up the zipper you have a back pocket in the back and it has um, it's just one main compartment with a back pocket um this is the new model the older version had a flap over the zipper so the newer model has an exposed zipper it has gold hardware black trimming the front pocket not that functional but that's okay i don't really use it but this um handbag is you can wear a crossbody or like a backpack but i wear mine as a crossbody um and i love it it's comfortable to wear now I do since I have gotten into like chunkier straps I do wish the Palm Springs mini did have a chunky strap because sometimes I use my Prada um, my black Prada strap with this because it's chunkier and more comfortable or I use my um, monogram bandolier strap with this handbag to give me more like more comfort and support so it doesn't feel like the strap is digging into my skin because the more items you put in here and you wear the original strap the more the strap digs into your skin which is kind of annoying um, but I do prefer wearing a chunkier strap with this bag but I really do love the Palm Springs mini is this a bag that I would ever 
let go or take out of my collection never because I just also think this is a timeless silhouette um, I just love how you can dress it up how you can dress it down I love even though it's considered a mini bag how much how many items you can put inside of it um, and still put extra um, things as well but this is one bag that I do rotate towards a lot and sometime when I am wearing this bag I have to remind myself that I have other bags that I need to carry besides this bag and that's a common theme with a lot of the handbags that I show you in this video I have to kind of remind myself like hey you have more handbags in your closet that you need to carry don't just continue to carry these few handbags um, but that's just how much I love them and how much use and function I can get out of them because they're just great and I wouldn't be making this video if I didn't think they were um, something that I feel like you all could benefit from having in your closet and in your rotation so the Palm Springs mini so oh, this next bag is a hit or miss when it comes to um, luxury handbags we all have a love-hate relationship with the um, speedy b the love-hate relationship for the speedy b is that we love the size and how much it can carry and we also love the bandolier version of the speedy b because you can wear it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag especially if you're tired of carrying a top handle the hate side of the speedy b is how difficult it is to get in and out of the bag but i like this handbag because it is a happy medium between um the smaller speedies like the nano speedy the speedy 20 um the speedy 25 is a happy middle ground between like the nano speedy the speedy 20 and the speedy 30 and speedy 35 because we all know the higher the number the bigger the bag the lower the number the smaller the bag pretty much right with the speedy b you can carry a lot in here she she packs a punch the only thing is that the opening is controversial that's why louis vuitton came out with the new speedy where the zipper goes all the way over the ends um but i love my speedy b um if i could have brought my south banks bag both my south banks and this bag would be in this video but i just had to keep it i had just to narrow it down to five bags um but if you want to see the bags that i love the most um my top 10 favorite bags that i have i can make that video as well you can just comment that in the description box down below but um i love my speedy b especially for work it just makes you look very put together it holds a lot um, when I carry my speedy B and I don't need my laptop for work I don't even carry my work bag I just put everything that's in my work bag in here and I'm good to go for the day I also do like that my speedy B comes with a strap the B is the bandolier part um, because you can buy speedies without the strap I'm like struggling keeping this bag in the frame I'm sorry y'all um, so it is nice to sometime have a strap that you keep in your bag that you can just pull out and attach to the sides of the bag and when you're tired of carrying the handbag top handle you can just wear it as a shoulder bag so that's a really nice feature I do like if you're gonna get the 25 I do feel like the 25 looks best in Damier E. Bean monogram I feel like it looks like a, a child's bag <laughs> that's just my opinion if you have the speedy beat and monogram and you love it girl I love that you love it, but I just prefer mine and Damia E. Bean. That's just my opinion. Um, this one has, is the newer model because the chocolate leather trimming isn't in the shiny leather. It's in the matte leather. And the gold is this like matte brushed gold. It's not um, a shiny gold. But I love this bag. I love it so much. Like I could honestly carry this bag for the rest of my life and not be sad but before I say that there's I have one more bag that I want to show you that I could literally carry for the rest of my life 
and not rotate into any other bag. And you want to know what that handbag is? The bag is this Prada handbag that I bought pre-loved from Fashion File. You all know what handbag this is because I made a video on it talking about the handbag that I am currently obsessed with. Um, and that handbag is this Prada soft leather bucket bag I when I tell you it was so hard to rotate out of this bag and it's so hard not trying to go back to this bag and make use out of my other bag like when I tell you I love her so much so I keep her in her original box that I got from fashion file but I keep her in the fashion file dust bag it has a front pocket I'm gonna link the um, video in the cards above so that you can go back and watch this video um, so you can see full detail and everything what fits inside of this bag but this bag is literally the bag of my dreams again you all know the struggle I went through trying to get the perfect bucket bag and then I finally stumbled upon the perfect one and I am absolutely obsessed so it is in black leather gold hardware it's um one main bucket compartment it does come with um these skinny shoulder straps just like the palm springs mini the skinny straps the more you put in this bag the more they dig into your skin so i just prefer to swap out those straps with um my chunkier prada strap that i have and this bag wears comfortably i absolutely love this bag um but this is one of my bags that i do wear in rotation honestly i should compare my palm springs mini and this bucket bag because they're pretty much almost the same size um the prada bag does have a functional front pocket unlike the um, palm springs mini but if you all want to see a comparison between these two um just comment that down below and i will gladly make that video video for you all um so yeah i hope you enjoyed today's video i hope you enjoyed seeing the top handbags that i rotate um throughout the weeks with um i do have some contemporary pieces i can make a video just like this about if you're wanting to look for something more affordable i can make that video as well also don't forget that i am doing a 1000 subscriber giveaway just make sure you read the description box down below for the entry details and until next time my loves i will talk to you all later bye